Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at cooldowns. Um, you most likely know what a cooldown is, but if you don't, uh, let's say you have a player and you want him to be able to use a command once every 30 or 60 seconds, then you would use a cooldown. So I have a really simple class or a plugin set up here. So I have a heal command, um, which is set in its own class. It takes a reference to the main plugin in its constructor and then it basically just heals the player. So if I go in game and I type slash heal, as you can see, my health gets fully healed. However, let's say I only want this to be able to be used per player for 30 seconds. So to do that, I'm going to create a class called cooldown manager. I'm going to put the logic to this in a separate class. Um, you don't have to, you could put it all in the heal command, but you'll see as plugins get bigger and bigger, it's a good idea to separate things into their own classes. So I'm going to start off with good practices from the get-go. So cooldown manager, cooldown manager. And then in our on enable, we're going to just create a new instance of that cooldown manager. I'm going to use IntelliJ IntelliSense. I'm going to hit Alt Enter. It's going to automatically create the class for me. Okay, so this is going to need a few things. So for starters, we're going to need to uh, keep track of which player has a cooldown. So to do this, we're going to use a map. So private map of UUID to integer player cooldown map is equal to a new hash map. So this is just, if you've never seen a map before, it basically takes a key and returns a value. So this will store an integer for every UUID, which is how we're going to reference our player. Um, it's better than using the player object because if the player logs out, um, the player object becomes a null and it creates some more issues for us. So it just makes our life easier storing UUIDs. So then in the constructor, um, I'm going to create a runnable. Um, if you haven't seen runnables before, this is basically a way to repeat code on a timer. So let me show you how that works. So you type in new bucket runnable, and then it's gonna ask you to implement methods. Um, every bucket runnable um, requires a run function in it. And then if we want this piece of code in the run function to repeat every 30 seconds or every second, which is what we're going to have, you type that one run task timer, a reference to the plugin, which we'll get in a minute, the delay, which is zero, and the period, which will be 20. Um, it takes ticks, not seconds. So there's 20 ticks in a second. Therefore, this will run every second. So just one more time, when we create the cooldown manager, a new bucket runnable is going to be instantiated. Using this line here, we're telling the bucket runnable to run this run function every second. Okay, so how do we get a reference to our main plugin? Well, we can just pass it down in the constructor. Okay, so now we're going to handle uh, removing a player from the player cooldown map and decreasing the amount of time left. So let's imagine we had a few players left in this cooldown map. One player had one second left and the other had three seconds left. If a player only has one second left on the timer, then what we want to do is remove that player from the map. Okay, so if at the start of the function it has one second left, that means its timer is basically done. So for UUID, UUID in player cooldown map dot uh, key set, which returns a list of all the UUIDs in the player cooldown map, or am I going to loop through that? Okay, so once we have the cooldown, we want to say if player cooldown map um, dot get UUID is equal to one. Um, this basically means that this player should no longer be in this map. So player cooldown map dot remove UUID. And then we just want to continue. Uh, basically, we want to go on to the to the next iteration, right? We don't want to continue this logic. Then, if not, we just do player cooldown map dot put UUID player cooldown map dot get um, UUID uh, minus one. So what this piece of code does is it gets the cooldown of this player and it basically decreases it by one. Okay, so let's put this into use. So let's create a function called public void add player to map, which will take a player object and it will take the integer, which would be the time. Okay, then we also want to um, create a function to check if a player has a cooldown. So we can do the public boolean is player in cooldown, which takes a player object also. 
So if we want to add a player to the map, um, we simply do player cooldown map dot put player dot get unique ID time. Um, there's no need to check if the player is already in the map because we're going to presume that if we're calling this function, we want to create a new cooldown. So if they're already in the system, it doesn't really matter. We're just overriding it. And then if is the player in cooldown, we can just return that player cooldown map dot is um, that contains player that get unique ID, which basically just checks is this player in the map. Okay, so if I go over to my heal command here, um, I need a way to get access to this class. So in our main plugin, we're going to say public cooldown manager get cooldown manager. Just return, oops, return the cooldown manager. So then here we can type if get if plugin dot get cooldown manager that is player in cooldown um, the player we used that executed the command then we can just say player dot send message chat color dot red plus uh, you cannot use this command yet then return Otherwise, uh, we want to do execute and then we want to say player plugin dot get cooldown manager dot add player to map player three. So I'm just going to have a three second cooldown. So that's all the functionality necessary. Uh, we So if we just want to run through this one more time, well, actually, I forgot to pass down the main plugin or the main class into the cooldown manager. So if we go through this one more time, this cooldown manager keeps track of all our cooldowns. It has a map which is just a way to uh, store linked values, a player cooldown map which stores a UUID and an integer. When we create this class, we loop through all the UUIDs, i.e. all the players in our map. We handle removing the player if their cooldown is done. Otherwise, we decrease the time left on their cooldown, and this repeats every second. If we want to add a player to a map, we call the add player to map function, passing in the player and the time, which is just the length of the cooldown. Is player in cooldown checks, does the player have a cooldown, which simply checks if the um, player is in the map. We can also create a function called public integer get time remaining, player player. So if the pl is player in cooldown player, so if they're not, so if our player does not have a cooldown, we can return zero. Else we can return return player cooldown map dot get player. So then in our heal command, uh, we can send a message saying player dot send message chat color dot green uh, plus time remaining plus plugin dot get cooldown manager dot get time remaining player okay so that is practically it now i'm going to run the function or run the plugin put it in my server and i'll be right back sorry i just realized i did something really stupid and um, when we call player cooldown map dot get we need to obviously pass the uid not the player object okay so i'm now in game i'm getting attacked by phantom so if i type sash heal it healed me. If I do it again, it says time remaining one. If I do it again, it heals me. If I try doing it again, it says time remaining one. As you can see, the cooldown is working perfectly. Okay, thanks very much for watching. I hope this was informative. If you have any other questions, please let me know and I will be right back to you. Have a good one.